pretty cool to see Kelly still busting the fins. Yeah, definitely. And Kelly is a, a competitor who's obviously surfed so many events, surfed so many heats. As we get set for the big show, a fantastic heat here. The 11-time world champ, Kelly Slater. Here at Bells Beach, once again, he's taking on John John Florence and Seth Moniz, and he throws everything at the section. Still bouncing around in the white water here, looking for one of those impossible Kelly Slater-like recoveries. And it did prove impossible. He didn't get back to his feet there. I mean, Kelly Slater, let's, let's have a look at, at his form. It's been a tough year for him uh, so far, results-wise. But we've seen him free surfing in the lead up to this event, and he's looked like he's clicked back into something. Yeah, absolutely. I think just for a second, we need to really appreciate that this man is, uh, you know, uh, half a century and then some. So to be out here mixing it up with, with uh, the youngsters, basically, and still competing at a high level is something that is just absolutely extraordinary. Uh, he's lost nothing of that flair and form as we see him hit the lip here. It just over-rotates ever so slightly, and then for one second, I just thought, you know, he's going to pull off that Slater magic somehow cat-like get back on his feet uh, but uh, unfortunately just a little bit too much turbulence to deal with uh, for a moment there looked like he stuck it and uh, but just got the better of him a great thing to keep an eye on as we get closer to that uh, impending cut as we see Slater up taking a medium sized ride here just transitioning through the first turn to set up this big oh. flare on the tail. Whips it right around. Oh, almost loses control. Can still touch his toes. Impressive stuff. As we watch the replay here, so Kelly just takes a bit of a high line track this first section and then comes into this bowly bit here and then just hammers it. Gets that tail release oh. that we're talking about. Drifts that tail all the way around. Gets a little off balance as he uh, re-engages those fins. Got the thruster set up. We've seen him do quad. We've seen him do five fin out here even. <sighs> nice deep bottom turn. And that's a uh, perfect setup manoeuvre here. Kelly, great arm extension. Watch how low that back, uh, that back knee gets. Right, almost touching the deck of the board. Re-engages and then shifts all that momentum back onto the front foot. Just incredible stuff. Flexibility at that age is just, uh, you know, something that we can all aspire to. Right, as soon as you release the tail. He's comfortable, he's matured, he's got the high heat IQ, he's got the hunger. Slater on the paddle here, Ron. Here goes Kelly again. Let's see what he can do. So Slater, let's see if he can build here. That last turn that he threw at us was an absolute jam. If you can find a combination with a couple of those moves, he'll bank a decent number. But this wave, it's just been a little sleepy from the outset as he works it over, sticking with that white water. You can uh, get yourself uh, some real credit on that final section, but this wave, it just sort of laid flat the whole way through the ride. He just put it on show here. This one stood up out the back. Beautiful carve off oh, the opening yeah. manoeuvre there. Timing, so important. Can't uh, stress that enough here at Bells. John gets the big roundhouse cutback. He gets to this section, up and through it, drives off the bottom again. Another roping turn, just cutting that... Uh, that wave in half and then does a little work through this inside section and doesn't quite convert on the last turn, but some really aggressive calves on the outside and that's where all the points will be banked. Yeah, it turns in a 6.67 and you'd, you'd think he's probably left a maybe a point out there with uh, without the finish, but Vaughn this first term, he, he just got the quill out and just drew this beautiful big line, didn't he? Oh, just uh, the feelings you get when you see this guy take off and engage the rail at like... All of a sudden, you know, the, the pure surfer in here just starts to get excited. You're like, wow, this is just such epic surfing. Look at this. Off the bottom and just full extension. Drives through it. Ah, oh, thing of magnificent beauty. What's it feel like, Rich? Uh, it's, <laughs> I, it's, honestly, that feeling of carving and holding a rail, to me, it almost is equal with, you know, getting a tube or, um, you know, doing a, a nice air. But uh, for me, the rail game, I, I can't help but move with him in my chair as he's going through the motions here. This one was a, a bit more spectacular as he hit the lip, harder to control. Uh, he sort of disconnected there, but uh, perfectly came down, re-engaged that inside rail, but so balanced. Look at the arm movement. Just brings that uh, back arm around, helps that pendulum swing, brings the board around under him again. Day one of the event window here at the 61st running of the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy and Seth Moniz coming to life here on a good size wave. Big hit in the pocket there as he flexes on the tail. 
And now going to some carving turns, mixing things up. Wants to really show that full repertoire. Show the flow and a nice little layback jam to finish. Decent number on the way. Seth getting in the mix too. Let's have a look at some replays. Vaughn, the young Hawaiian getting started here. Yeah, well, he uh, waited and waited and he got rewarded. This is a, a nice tall wave for Seth. One of the biggest sets we've seen in this heat so far. And unfortunately, it didn't really get very steep for him. So there was lots of cutbacks. He came through onto the inside. Big end section and he gets a pretty decent snap in, but... Never really got to unleash the full fireworks on that one. We've got Kelly Slater up. Beautiful looking wall to work with. Banks on the rail off the bottom. Little sticky on the top here, but he'll drop into the bowl now and see what kind of work he can get done. Oh, and rips one under the lip. And Slater, he's just dropped his best number on this one, Rich. Yeah, nice big wrapping calves to start things off for Kelly. You can see just not 100% sure-footed at this moment, but nice... Hack under the lip there, drives that long bottom turn. Again, that big slopey face. So Kelly just has to do a little mid-face work. But really, all the points coming at this final moment here. Up, This is John. Well, Slater dropped the 557. Florence had a 6.67. Looking for his backup number now. This wave's starting to steepen. He's been super patient so far in this heat. With these uh, options to attack the sections, you can see he's just waiting for this wave to steepen down the line. It's not really uh, working out for him at this stage. But he'll stick with it, knowing that with the strongest number of the heat so far, even a minor backup score can help strengthen his position here as he drives through to the inside, now starts to accelerate, hangs on for the finish here. Five and a half minutes to go. Florence... I think uh, he didn't do much at the start of this ride, Vaughan, but knew that he, he really didn't need to do a whole lot to, to back this strong 6.67 up. Yeah, and uh, like you said, Ron, just a, a pretty good tactic. You get it all the way through and just make sure there was going to be some points on it. I often wonder, you know, when you, you get these waves just fatten out, the temptation to just get off it must be so massive. But you get a good little finish on it and you're going to have a backup score and that just applies more pressure. Rich, I'd love to know from you, you know, if you pick a dart out here, <laughs> like, how tempting is it to just pull the ripcord and get the heck out of it? Yeah, it's it's a, a calculated risk, really, because you have to sort of weigh up. Do I go to the end? Do I try and bake those points? The Easter Classic. Now the ripcord Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy. Slater up, trying to get rid of a three here. And he needs a 5 2 eight to get himself into the lead. Great rail work, good speed to get started. And he looks more alive on this ride. And with a big finish, could certainly turn in the number he needs to get to the number one position. Nice floating re-entry there. And Slater looking a, a lot more short-footed there. You've got to think too, Rich. It, you know, with a couple of trips here and there, I'm sure there's nerves for Kelly. He wants to put in a good show. He wants to bag a big result here. Uh, a smart decision to take this wave. You could see this one hitting the bowl, and as it stands up, Kelly, big roundhouse cutback to start things off, and another one. You can see there's more intent with this wave. There's a bit more energy into the effort. Again, beautiful roundhouse, Morno. I just love the fact that uh, he sort of moved away from coming deep around the foam ball and up into the lip and punching through it, those tail slides, and went more to the rail, sort of took it a little bit further into the bowl. Solid stuff, and the crowd loves it. He's still the Pied Piper, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't matter who he's up against. One of the, uh, the the current title contenders, when Slater's in a heat, people turn up to the beach, they follow him down those stairs, and that was a solid performance, and he really did uh, piece it together on that final ride. Rich is here wiping tears out of his eyes. <laughs> Well, it's, it's pretty special, you know. We haven't seen Kelly get too many uh, heat wins in the last, uh, you know, little period. So it's great to see him uh, get the win. This is a huge thing for his confidence.